Hello everyone. In today's video I want to show you how we can do recrystallization of harmala alkaloids. Please, be advised, that this video strictly for education purpose, harm reduction, and not an instruction to actions. The main purpose of recrystallization technique is purifying your desirable product. The very basic of this technique is following, you dissolving your product in suitable solvent and initiate crystallization of your desirable product, impurities will be trapped in solvent and with every recrystallization attempt you obtain purer product, in our case harmala alkaloids. Enough with intro, let's start. Right now, you can see in the bigger beaker is pale solid and it is a free base of harmala alkaloids from our previous extraction. In the smaller beaker is a solution of 7% vinegar, made from distilled water and glacial acetic acid. By addition of the acidic solution solid will start to dissolve and solution turns yellowy orange color. If your solution is cold some solid won't dissolve in it, we need to heat it on water bath or in the microwave, after heating all solid will dissolve. Harmala free base almost insoluble in water, upon addition of acid it turns to corresponding salt. In our case acetic acid was added so in solution we can see harmless acetates which strongly glows under black light. By addition of iodine free table salt, 1 to 1 ratio of table salt to free base, it means that if you have 1 gram of free base of harmala alkaloids you need to add 1 gram of iodine free table salt, we will force harmless precipitate as harmala hydrochlorides and the other impurities will stay in the acidic solution. The key to success recrystallization is saturation of your solution, as you can see, I added too much water, and almost no crystal precipitated out. If you faced the same issue it is not a problem, we just need to reduce the total mass of our solution. The easiest way to boil it out. Upon reaching critical point of saturation, crystals will easily form out. In the solution crystals looks like fancy fur, isn't it beautiful? While my precipitate was on filter paper, I took a look into the beaker and found not even less beautiful city of pyramids, look at those wonderful pyramids formed out, my guess it is an excess of salt formed out, but I still not sure about that, as salt should be cubical, not pyramidic. After precipitate fully dried out it should look like this. Harmala hydrochloride can be used in form of salt as well, but I prefer free base, as it is way easier to manage dose. Please, do not forget that harmala alkaloids are MAOI, all possible precautions with MAOI consumption should be taken in consideration. Be safe, be smart, your future may depend on it. Thank you and have a safe and productive day.